So when taking films in rooms, many times we're asked about, well, where do you plug things in? Um, in developing this particular unit, we found that placing a USB cable here and allowing that sensor to go into a mouth prevented us from having to skip over a sensor. So you can appreciate in many offices, they plug behind them. So I'm ahead of that and I have to hop over it. <laughs> These things are expensive. So doctors will really appreciate when you're able to share with them that feature when uh, films are being taken. Another option for that is to have it plugged in the back with the same idea. If it's plugged here, I can adjust it as I need to as I'm taking my films in the room, whether that's a left hand or right hand use, and then leave the room to take my acquisition. Or if I have my handheld, grab my handheld, take my image, position my handheld, and walk out. Never having to hop over a cord is a big thing. It's safety for the practitioners too. You can see that you want to protect your team members as they're working. That leads me to the monitor. I want to use that monitor when I'm taking images. I want to verify, just like we did in the imaging suite, that my image is accurate, that I've got the kind of information that's going to be diagnostically sound for my doctor. When you have your image and the series is ready to review with the patient that might be in the chair, that can happen from both a two-handed side here. You can have your assistant on the opposite side maybe taking some notes independently on the monitor behind them. But more importantly, we're able to sit side by side and review an image together. A little less of that typical intimidation that you would find in a dental office in which someone's staring at you when you're seated back and asking you to look above them, or worse, can you just turn your legs around and stare at the screen back here? So that two monitor idea, I can appreciate why it's done sometimes. Two monitors separate, much better experience for the patient in the chair. Would you wanna turn your body around? Probably not, yeah. So even nicer feature to the same monitor that we were just talking about is that I might be a hygienist that has a particular product that you would be interested in um, purchasing as a patient, for example. Maybe it's fluoride varnish, maybe it's um, a toothpaste that's prescription, something special. You can only get it here. Well, you don't even have to go all the way out to the front desk to pay for that. We can actually do your in-op checkout right here using our credit card swipe. Some offices will choose to use an iPad, maybe with a square. There's a couple of different ways to actually do it. So we can spend some time talking about some options for sure. Your keyboard would allow you to process that transaction, run that card, and then you can go off on your way. It not only improves on the amount of time that you are needed to be in the chair as a patient of the practice, but it also improves upon another bottleneck, which is the checkout, right? You see lots of people standing in line trying to just leave the practice after they've been seen. They wanna get in, they wanna get out. Not because you're a factory, not because you're doing dentistry faster for them, but because you're giving them that wonderful experience of, hey, we can take care of that for you here. It's a convenience really for the patient much more than it is for the practice.